Hey guys, this is Fei Wu from Face World Media. This video is focused on Social Blade, specifically how accurate it is at predicting both YouTube analytics, subscriber counts, as well as revenue. So instead of just talking about it arbitrarily, I'm actually gonna show you my channel, which is Face World Media, right here on Social Blade. Then side by side, I'm going to show you my channel analytics as well. Let's get started. <laughs> If you're new to Social Blade, it's a place where not only you can track your own analytics for YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, you name it, as well as anybody else. So this is a great place for products and companies who want to partner with influencers of any size. Speaking of sponsors, money, and oh, it's the tax season. Me today's sponsor, Found, business banking for self-employed which is many of Phase World audience, including YouTubers, content creators, fitness instructors, and beyond. If you're just getting started with your business, no matter how small or running solo, Found is worth exploring. With a single card in hand, they help you always be prepared for tax day, which is coming up. They set aside a portion of your paycheck in a separate tax savings account. You can file your quarterly taxes directly from Found. Now back to today's video. So let's get started. Let me go ahead and search for Face World Media. Takes about five seconds. And I'm gonna select my channel. And here are all the data it gives you. Including subscribers from the last 30 days, estimated monthly revenue and all that. So if you scroll down, the things that are very accurate are subscribers. Anything that's in the past that's part of history, it has a really accurate count. However, what about predictions, which is exactly what this video is for. So let's click on future predictions. The areas that are actually interesting are these two right here. One is estimated monthly earnings and the other is estimated yearly earnings. Here, if I hover over the question mark, the default estimated CPM range for Social Blade is 25 cents to $4. This can be changed in the Social Blade dashboard account settings page. Okay, so how accurate are these numbers? Let's take a look at them one at a time. First of all, monthly earnings. Currently, it's estimated between 53 to $847. Let me hop on over to my channel analytics. And as you can see right now, it's set on the last 28 days. Uh, typically, you know, this is just how YouTube goes by. So let's just call it the past 28 days instead of the past 30 days. My estimated revenue is actually $1,465 as opposed to the estimated 53 to 847 dollars so um i would say that social blade is almost estimating a little bit too low um so that's one area and now let's take a look at, at the estimated yearly earning let's take a look my channel started monetizing on april 17th right here this is day one and so between then and now it's exactly eight months actually exactly eight months instead of a year so this is really two thirds of a year. And as you can see, my revenue really fluctuated quite a bit. So it's never ever consistent. And I do expect to, you know, make more money over time, obviously with subscribers and watch time. So the estimation of 600, I don't even know. I think the 600 is really low. Um, whatever the, you know, the range is the first number, I wouldn't even look at it. And so on the average, the, the yearly earning is $10,000. So that's actually um, pretty accurate. And I also have to assume, and I guess the fact that, look, they do realize that, you know, they have an estimation of approximately when I started monetizing. And they also know how long, how active my channel has been. So they should know that for me uh, or for Face World, really the past year worth of income here should be about eight months. So let's take a look at down here. What I notice with a social blade is at least with this free account, right? I signed up, I'm not paying anything. So right now it's only showing the data from the past, I would say, you know, a couple of weeks or so. So let's take a look at the date on December 2nd and it's estimating the earning for that day. And it's jumping around to skipped one day on the third, but then four, five, six, seven. Okay, it's pretty consistent. And so let's just take a look at this together. Uh, if we just look at the upper range, so $18, $30, $13, and $8, let's take a look. So 
I'm going to just dial this back to the past 28 days on my revenue. And here uh, I can more or less tell, as you can see, as I hover over, you can see the exact date. So once again, um, December 2nd, 4th, 5th, and 6th. Let's just find those exact date. So, all right, as you can see, my revenue did go down a bit, but it's $64, $60, $52, $50, at around December 5th and 6th, it went down to $41, 7th or 8th, it went back up to $65. So as you can see here, I would say these numbers are definitely quite a bit off, sometimes half as much, sometimes a third or even a quarter compared to the actual estimate. So I wanted to record this video just to give you guys uh, kind of an overview of what's going on behind the scenes. And I also think, you know, if you're a brand uh, or if you're a company, if you are an influencer manager somewhere, that's important to know that these numbers are only estimation. So my recommendation and my advice to you is to actually contact the influencer and also get a sense for um, what it is. Here you can get a full month of statistics and wow, so actually that data, that button I just pressed, that's not even a paid version. So over here, you can see much earlier data for phase world that is October, 2020, all the way through. And so, you know, again, if I were to go back once again, the past 90 days, just to show you guys my October earnings, um, actually October and September were my some of my highest earnings, especially in October. Some days, such as October 7th, let's take a look. I reached $107, $107 that day, $96, $87, $103. dollars So let's take a look at October estimation up here. And the daily estimates are really low for whatever reasons, actually much, much lower. In some cases, it's like one seventh or one sixth of what the earning was. So I would say this is quite a bit off. And something really interesting is happening here. What, like, did I really gain 520 subscribers on the day of November 29th? I doubt it. I think I would have remembered. So let's take a look at subscribers and uh, let's take a look at, uh, let's see, what was it? November 29th. So let's find November 29th. Uh, yeah, clearly I did not gain 520 subscribers. I don't know what this number is about at all. Um, or perhaps it's calculating. Yeah, it's actually looking at a date. Anyway, what do I think about this? Um, I think in general, it's much better to have some sort of data to rely on. Otherwise, it's, it's really hard to imagine how these numbers go about. Um, so I think it's helpful overall, but definitely do not be married to them. Let's take a look at future projections. So when it comes to future projections, I actually looked at some of the other channels and videos talking about Social Blade. And based on what I saw, it's actually way off. So as I'm recording this, December 20th, 2020, and um, it says, hey, right now I have about 11,000 subscribers, but in two months, time until like in two months, I'll get 14,000. And let's see, uh, sometimes I say by the end of 2021, in 12 months, I'm going to have 43,000 subscribers. My personal goal, even though this sounds ridiculous, it's like four times the amount of subscribers I have right now. And it sounds like a lot, but I've witnessed so many channels actually beating this number. Um, much, you know, they end up gaining many, many more subscribers in a much shorter period of time. I certainly hope that's the case for Phase World Media. So anyways, I hope you find this helpful. Thanks again for watching. This is Faye from Phase World Media. This channel is about creating content uh, for tech, for personal finance, and, you know, for mindset, all for creative entrepreneurs, because I believe that you can't just be creative. You got to be financially feasible and sustainable as well. So thanks again, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Bye for now.